this one hasn't been sanded or um, laser jet. This is the trailer. And you can see it's about time to change my blade because you're starting. I'm starting to get some curling on the wood. That's the first indication that the bed is not razor sharp. So it curls it up. But the sanding takes care of that and it's still doing a, a decent job. So there's my truck finished. There's my trailer coming right out of the CNC. So it cuts it, drill, drills it, cuts it, and then I mount it in a fixture. What I did is that I designed a fixture that fits in the bottom of the moray. And if you look, there's alignment holes here, and this tells the location. That's an eighth inch hole at one, two. So X is one, Y is two. And there's another one, and then you come over to the other side, and there's two over here as well for alignment, to make sure that I get this board aligned inside the moray. When I designed it, I designed it with multiple purpose in mind. This fits in here. If you notice, there's still empty space because it's also designed for this fitting. So you can do two at once, either two of the trucks or two of the trailers or one of each, depending on which program you run. And what I did yesterday in the video, and I'll put a link to it, it showed you how once you get a program that you're going to run a lot of, instead of putting it on a flash drive, you can store it into the memory of the moray. So that's what I'm working on. This uh, is a template that worked out really well. I did an oversized cut of 0.04, and that allows it to drop in and come out a little easier. Uh, so you can reach down and pull it out. Same thing here, you reach in and pull it out. So there it is. That's one of the things you can do with your moray if you have to be enhancing your projects with laser markings. And that's what I do on this project. Have fun with your CNC.